One in every 10 Americans has diabetes, which could increase to one in every three by 2050. Diabetes has a devastating impact in our healthcare delivery system today, particularly in communities that are disproportionately affected by this terrible disease. People with diabetes often experience a higher incidence of stroke, heart disease, amputations, and blindness than the rest of the population. In 2010, the APHA Foundation announced Project Impact Diabetes. Developed in partnership with the Bristol-Myers Squibb Foundation's Together on Diabetes initiative, Project Impact is designed to address diabetes-related health disparities. Project Impact Diabetes is our first national initiative to implement an interdisciplinary process of care that includes pharmacists in 25 different communities that are disproportionately affected by diabetes. Pharmacists are working in community pharmacy practice settings, employer work sites, federally qualified health centers, county health departments, and other locations to serve this population. Aggregate data from all 25 participating communities showed statistically significant improvements across key diabetes indicators, including decreases in A1C or blood sugar control, systolic blood pressure, LDL cholesterol, and body mass index. At one of the federally qualified health centers participating in Project Impact Diabetes, pharmacist Kelly Goode and medical director Lisa Price-Stevens worked together to care for homeless patients with diabetes. Offering services to our patients is part of our commitment to help empower them to take better care of their health. We work with our patients to see what really works best for them and by having them share in the decision making we've seen increases in medication adherence and dramatic results in some of the clinical markers. It's truly a collaborative type practice. The patient, I don't know if they can remember who's the pharmacist and, and who's the medical doctor. We really work that closely together. Our patients come from a background and culture where diabetes was a death sentence. Now people see it as a, a disease that I have and I can manage and there's hope for me. Project Impact Diabetes has been a lifesaver for me. If it wasn't for them showing me the real down of concern that they exhibited, I would not have made a strong resolve to take care of myself better. At a participating free clinic, more than 100 patients are engaged in Project Impact Diabetes. Our patients in the preclinic setting have extreme socioeconomic barriers, so we really take the time to sit down with them and find out what's worked for them in the past and the types of things that they need now to really start to take control of the diabetes and improve their quality of life. Um, sometimes that can be a medication intervention, increasing insulin or getting them a medication, and other times it can be an immunization that's needed or even um, focused education. Diabetes is such a life-changing diagnosis. You go from living a certain way, eating a certain way, having a certain number, and you have to change all of those things. Your whole life has to change. The patients know that they're, they're gonna see the PharmD team after they see me, and they're gonna see me after they see the PharmD team, so they know that, you know, I can't, I can't just get my act together right before the appointment. I've gotta, I've gotta stay with things. I have a good enough rapport with Sally that I really want to do it. I really want to make her proud. The goal is below 7.0 for your diabetes to be lower than that number. And today I was down to 6.1. That's the first time I've hit my goal in three years. So I'm very excited. The results from Project Impact Diabetes clearly demonstrate that when pharmacists engage in a collaborative care process that's focused on the patient, that better results can be achieved. In particular, patients are more informed, more engaged, and actively in control of this chronic disease. Project Impact Diabetes, expanding proven community-based models of care 
to patients who need it most.